Oh, we got some drama today. First of all, Tesla looks like is going to agree to partially refund those customers who bought Autopilot 2.0 in its first year, something that I've been watching closely if you watch my channel before. Also, Nikola is suing Tesla. I know that sounds weird and it is really odd and, and probably frustrating story that I'm going to tell you about. You're going to enjoy. And even the comment of the day is a bit of a drama. It will probably bitterly divide the comment section of this video into two camps. So uh, why wait any longer? Take it If you're watching this live on Patreon, thank you for supporting my show. If you want to support the show and uh, get some uh, exclusive footage, behind the scene footage, and mostly really the benefit is to watch me live and ask me questions live if you'd like, you can go to patreon.com slash electric If you're watching me on YouTube, please consider subscribing so you don't miss anything moving forward and become a part of this community. Let's talk about the Tesla Autopilot. Now, as a customer, I've been a, probably this has been one of the most disappointing features for me. Now, both of my Model S sedans have uh, the first version. And even there, I'm a bit disappointed, but I can't imagine how people uh, feel when they bought a 2.0, obviously thinking it's a better version of it, and didn't really realize that um, most of the features are really not there, and it would have taken them, Tesla that is, two more years really, and the consensus is only now the latest uh, version of Autopilot 2.0, 2.5 really, um, is better than the previous version. So they they got together and they filed a lawsuit and, and now it looks like according to electric.co, um, looks like there's a settlement on the table. Now, for those of you who don't know, Tesla released Autopilot 1.0 a while back, I bought it and um, that was that was based on and using mobile eye technology. It's a it was an Israeli company uh, that now has been acquired uh, by Intel since then. But um, they had a breakup. They just didn't agree on what's what's going what was going to happen moving forward. And you know Tesla said, "Screw you guys! I'm, we're going to make my, our own autopilot." And they sold it as a 2.0, as a better version. And um, they said the hardware was going to be capable of full self driving capability and charge people five thousand dollars. Uh, for autopilot and you know they, they bought, a lot of people bought it thinking it's better and then they realized it wasn't as easy to develop the uh, software as they thought and instead of a couple of months and just like I said it's taking them a while and meanwhile people like me who had a 1.0 version were enjoying way more features and better features than people who bought a 2.0 version. Now, I always screamed and yelled about it. I thought that this is something that was been mishandled by Tesla. I mean, obviously, one thing they overpromised to their investors, um, another thing they overpromised and not delivered to their customers. And that's something that I felt that Tesla should have owned up and, you know, given those partial or full refunds to those people who said, wait a second, we paid for something that you guys didn't deliver, which only, only brings me to wonder why this settlement is such a small settlement, because altogether, I think it's about 5,000, 5,000, 5 million, uh, uh, just general pool. And uh, this affects people who bought it from 2016, I believe, October when it came out uh, uh, through the first year until fall of 2017. What happened to the second year, people who bought it for the second year where it wasn't up to, up to par? Also, the amounts vary from $280 for people who really bought it in the beginning to just like 20 bucks, people who bought it a year into it. Compared to the $5,000 that they paid for it, that's pretty much nothing. So I'm not really sure how the negotiations went, why people who kind of wanted their either full refund or you know have the entire car to be bought back, is kind of ended up with kind of a pennies on a dollar. We don't know, but I'm wondering why. But what bothers me most is that, you know, Tesla ended up having to uh, deal with it throughout the last two years because it's, it was in the news and it was in everyone's minds. And now, you know, anytime you settle, you know, the public opinion usually is, hey, you did something wrong, which they did. It's just, this could have been handled a little bit better. They could have offered those refunds uh, to people um, you know, or, 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 or maybe extend some company credit to them and at least acknowledge that, yes, they, they, they were kind of wrong. They, 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 they were promised something uh, that, that they paid for that they didn't really receive 
uh, on time. And those people who already sold their cars or their leases just about to expire, you know, what are they going to do? They, they're only going to enjoy these features for, you know, a, a short period of time. So I'm sure there will be more details, but this is something that I really thought that, mm, some, I mean, I've, I've, I've been on top of this for a while and I know a lot of you guys don't, don't agree with me, but apparently this is only, in, you know, other proof that there are quite a few people there that now kind of have their feelings, if you will, and concerns uh, validated. So let me know in the comment section if you believe that this is something that Tesla is responsible for. And if you believe that the, the settlement of, let's say, $280, $280 is um, justified, is it too much or is it too little? Let me know. Now, before we move on to another ridiculous story of the day, let me remind you that uh, this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex. You have aftermarket accessories for Tesla. Uh, if you're looking to shop there and want to save a few bucks, there's a discount code in the description of this video. And by the way, um, if you guys enjoyed uh, Zach and Jesse's interview, uh, um, you can, if you haven't yet, uh, it's uh, posted on my channel, obviously, but I'm going to have John LaFleur, uh, the uh, Vice President of Product of Workhorse. If you're not familiar with that company, it's a very exciting company. Um, and then Henrik Fisker is going to be here in a couple of weeks as well. So looking forward to those. All right, let's talk about uh, <laughs> this story. Uh, Nikola Motors is suing Tesla Motors uh, for creating confusion uh, by infringing on their um, copyright trademark design of their um, uh, Nikola One a truck, which you see right here. Of course, this is the semi truck by Tesla. And they're saying there are a few design elements that are way too similar. They're infringing on their copyrights. Um, uh, one of them is the, the windshield that's wrapped around. I, you know, here's the problem with this. First of all, I, if, if the design, whatever a trademark office is, it actually issued a, a, a patent or, or, or for this, that's ridiculous. I don't think something like this could be patent. There are a few other things um, they said that created a confusion and therefore all the negative publicity that Tesla is gaining with Autopilot and other things are reflecting on them that they're losing potential sales. Now, it's a little far-fetched. And since I'm not a patent attorney and I haven't really talked to one about this one, uh, I'm going to let the course decide. Obviously, I think it's ridiculous that you can patent stuff like this because, you know, it's like patenting the color blue to me or the number seven or whatever. Well, in this case, I guess one, but um, let's see how that plays out in court. However, let's just remind everybody that nothing confuses customers more with another company uh, like naming your company after the same guy. So I'm not really sure if they really have a leg to stand on with this argument uh, because it is a bit of a, you know, um, if anybody is creating confusion, it's them and probably Tesla can file a very similar lawsuit and ask them what is going on with that. Um, Grant in the chat room says Nikola going crazy. <laughs> True. Um, Tony says, yeah, Nikola has certainly lost it. They have a serious cash of envy. And that's kind of a, what I'm getting to as well, Tony. Nikola has always been, um, I felt like just, you know, I, I don't like that product. I don't like that product, right? Because it's hydrogen fuel cell. They, I don't know if they missed the whole, uh, you know, battery uh, elect electric powertrain, train, whatever. Okay. You know what I mean? But, and, and, and they've always been kind of, creating publicity not out of their good product or their product but uh going after tesla and creating all this drama and stuff like that and i just don't think that's the way to do business uh grant is asking so first they refunded deposits they pulled put this have them then they pull this have they lost their mind how long do you think nikola will survive yes so so nikola announced that they're going to give refunds to all of uh, their their reservation holders, uh, so it will be zero to uh, reserve the truck, and they obviously took a swipe at Tesla for taking uh, money up front and uh, to hold the line, which I don't think there's anything wrong with, but um, it's uh, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. It's ridiculous, and it's you know, but that's what's creating publicity. And you know, I, I'm assuming they're thinking like if that's what's gonna solve a few trucks then that's what they're going to do. Now, let's see how this whole patent thing, you know, pans out because there are more ridiculous cases that people have won than this one. And this is not even on Nikola. This is on people issuing these, right? So 
that's that now let's move on to the comment of the day by the way and 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 um that one is actually also about the autopilot because a lot of times you guys don't dis don't, don't agree with me with the autopilot and that's fine not a lot of times sometimes but here's a cbc design 001 that's the username he says if you have to keep your eyes on the road and keep your hands on the wheel in case the system uh, runs into difficulty it is not true autopilot it's glorified lane assist slash auto cruise control system with lane switching capability. It's not worth $5,000 as it stands, that's for sure. It's overpriced in my opinion. Plenty of other cars, including ICE vehicles, have systems that self-steer, self-brake, and self-accelerate for a lot less money. Everything you said is true. I, I agree. Now, the only thing that people do argue about, and they actually technically right, is that well, autopilot as it is for airplanes, for example, is also, it's not where you just let the pilot have the plane fly on its own. Actually, you're supposed to still be in control of the plane and be able to take over at any time. So technically it's the same thing. But just like I said, the public perception of this is that it's something that's basically a self-driving car. Um, and yes, ICE cars have this pretty much all newer, definitely luxury cars have that and now even non-luxury cars have it. Yes, for much less money so i always said that that's that name is incorrect um i obviously regret paying that much money for what i got for it uh but i think most important thing is again and but this is a preference thing i just don't understand what the what what it what the service or product here is if I still have to keep, just like you said, my hands on the wheel and my eyes on the road and be able to take over and pay attention, then I really don't understand what what is the service here. I mean, I, I, I can steer my car myself. I don't need that, you know, uh, uh, physical help with it. Um, so somebody has to explain this to me and don't call me spoiled or whatever. I'm just discussing a product that I just don't understand. So if you can tell me what is it that I'm getting for the money, I, I would welcome that because, you know, I just think that I've been duped on this one. Um, and I definitely not going to buy it again unless it's much, much, much better than it is right now. Um, uh, let's see. All right. So Tony is still talking about uh, Nikola and I think we all will for a while. He uh, says that Nikola should focus more on product innovation and less on this type of ridiculous claims. I absolutely agree. Uh, but the thing is, I don't think they have a good product. And maybe that's why they're realizing that only way to generate publicity is to go after Tesla. Now, they could be right, right? They could be right. That's 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 unfortunately how it's done. But I, I, I sure hope they don't uh, win this lawsuit because I just don't think this is something that should be trademarkable if you will all right guys um that's pretty much it for me thank you for participating on patreon as always i really appreciate it i will see you tomorrow once again live here on patreon and later in the replay on uh, uh, on youtube at 11 a.m pacific time uh other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged